नून वैर्व्याधि मुक्तता ओ मलखाम thou perfect tuner of body and spirit before you the stagnancy of the body vanishes the mind in ceaseless concentration never tires disease and illness away do flow the spirit in contentment doth flow malakham at one time confined to maharashtra increasingly caught the imagination of would be athletes and thus soon spread all over india a part of the heritage of indian culture mallakham is a most economical and versatile trainer needing very little space and yet having numerous applications in present day sporting discipline few other exercises even in modern calisthenics demand the performance of so many variations in such a short span of time The body of the athlete is a twofold blend harder than diamond suppler than cane The smooth movements of an expert have the beauty of a stream cascading down a mountainous slope or that of a swallow in flight medical opinion tells us that a supple spinal column holds the key to preventing numerous disorders exercising on the mallakham guarantees you this golden key variation is the hanging malakham a moving dummy opponent contrary to the fixed malakham the hanging malakham threatens to swing away if the performer cannot synchronize his movements and maintain center of gravity it is crucial to avert being hit by the pendulating pole on landing chakri mallakham where a group simultaneously mounts the hanging mallakham in coordination the exercises are gone through Malakham rotates around its own axis and tends continually to slip away. either holds the weapons in his hands or straps them to the various parts of his body this adds to the constraints on the performer inspiration for the convolutions are drawn from the monkey yet in the constraints of hatyari mallakam it is like demanding that a monkey swing without the aid of its tail 
has to learn to squeeze his body, contract his muscles, and avoid the sharper edges and points from touching his body or the pole. To the warriors of the past, it was essential to develop grip and hold, even while the hands were engaged in carrying the weapons at the ready. neither fixed to the ground nor suspended. This slanting mallakam is placed on a plain wooden plank without any dug-in support. ago, it was popular in roving jatras in Maharashtra. A platform is placed on four bottles. On this is placed the Mallakam. Its base slanting, the balance precarious. It offers a challenge to those who wish to undertake increasingly arduous feats. Expertise comes with years of diligent application. The glow on the face of this person, well beyond 65 years of age, is evidence of the wonders Mallakam can do. A regular pyramid, the base formed of only 20 ordinary bottles. Blended like a drop in water, moving with the ease of a fish, the performer swims in and out of the structure rhythmically. goes through all asanas and movements. The finale forges a grand melody. Deep Malakam lighted candles in metallic holders placed on the foreheads of the performers. Merely placed, not fastened, forcing the performer to hold his head steady throughout the performance. The candle must neither fall nor the flame go out.
Mallakam with a difference. Cane or rope Mallakam. In this, gripping is permissible only with hands and toes. Women also participate in this type of Mallakam. Flowing from their natural grace, they present a poised elegance par excellence. Unlike the pool malakam, the rope is not rigid and the performer must manipulate skillfully to make it serve as a support. This is achieved by coiling the rope around various limbs. Pashtimottanasan the cross. Knee hold or Guru Pakar. Shabhasan. Single knee hold combined with Shabhasan. Akarna Dhanurasan as if poised for releasing an arrow from a bow. Shirshasan, Nidrasan. Ekapada Shirasan, Padmasan. present age, with men and women conscious of maintaining trim physiques, the Malakam offers a way to the perfect body beautiful. There is a common misbelief that Malakam reduces the height. On the contrary, it improves the posture and thereby height. I would say that these exercises would be beneficial in the correction of postural defects and certainly it would help to improve a person's stance, his bearing and his gait. It is my personal experience that exercises like Vail, Dhatran, Mohanbedi involve movements of even the smallest joints of the body including those of vertebral columns. As a former Malakam player, I would say the exercises involved in Malakam develop your musculoskeletal system and improve the circulation to various parts of the body and the vital organs. A lot of precision, speed and concentration is involved in all the exercises in Malakam. The manuals are complex and this does help in better conditioning of the higher functions of the central nervous system such as memory, concentration and fast analytical thinking. Malakam exercises are based on strengthening stretching and balancing group of muscles against their own weight. Hence, they can be called isometric exercise, As it avoids any undue stress on human body, I feel that they can be advised at any age and for any sex. Persons of all ages are welcome to this sport. Here is a mother practicing on the rope Malakam. Malakam, an ancient sport which had slipped into the background for a long period, has now once again forged its way to prominence.
forces, above all, the compelling gravitational pull. Balancing is a skill. It requires control over the muscles, concentration and aerial sense.
balancing can be mastered and polished, either in the vertical axis or on the horizontal axis. The horizontal balance demands not only skill, but also strength. The horizontal toe balance locks at the ankle, requiring great strength and exceptional sense of balance in three dimensions. In the exercise called the fish, the extreme limits of tensile strain on muscles and ligaments is demonstrated. One hand Mayurasan or peacock pose. Mayura Padmasan, balancing at ease, high on top. Bodhatta Tadva, or Naval Balance, cautious breathing to prevent upsetting the balance. Kandi, or Shoulder Plank, strengthens the abdominal muscles to an unbelievable pitch. Japa or catches, where a performer overbalances himself from any posture and grips the malakam with his thighs whilst dropping. The drop is sudden, hence accuracy is crucial. The aim is to break the drop in midair and at the same time use the momentum positively. Practice of drop catches overcomes the psychological barriers and develops in the thighs an ability to grip, which has perhaps no equal in any other exercise. Khadi's up. Khadi's sliding up. Abdominals up. Back balance up. Mayurasan up. Monkey holds up. Full balance up. Short arm balance up. Abdominal balance to shoulder balance up. require controlled push-off and confident landing. Up. Simple dismounts. Dismounts with twists. And dismounts with somersault. Three classifications of landing. Ready? Jump. Front somersault dismount. Back somersault dismount. Full balance dismount. Side balance dismount. Monkey hold twist dismount. Abdominal twist dismount. Short 
arm balance dismount, abdominal vault dismount. Modern Malkam has added up great balancing and refined presentation. Malakam, as a competitive discipline, is governed by practically all the norms used in Olympic gymnastic competition. The competition combines a set of compulsory and optional exercises. Weightage is given to accuracy and grace in performing the compulsory exercises. Innovation is of greater consequence in the optionals. Good timing and grace are naturally essential. It is imperative that the performer once on the malakam must go through the entire set continually within 90 seconds. Smooth and fluid changeover from one posture to the next is the essence of a good performance. Touching the ground in between means disqualification. A performer can leave a deep and lasting impression if he dismounts from the pole with grace and flourish. A competitor going through his paces, horse mount, back leg grip. Full balance. Mayurasam, Mayurasam tap, needle and thread, back leg grip, horizontal toe balance, side balance, side balance tap, Padang Gushtasan, Thadi Sliding Dha, Monkey Grip, Back Leg Grip, Armpit Balance, Back Balance, Rajasan, Kurmasan, Naval Balance, Shoulder Plank, Shoulder Plank Catch. The performance concludes with a back somersault dismount. Shuddhir Drudharogyam Tatatan Deh Chapalyam Medachheda Krushodaram Vapu Bhavatyutthana Yogyam Ekagratvam Kleshahinatvam Cheta Sashchap Prasannata Malakhambat Prapyate Noonan Sarvair Vyadhi Muktata Lagavam karma samarthyam Deepo gnir meda sakshayaha 
विभक्तन भवगात्र मलखांबात उपजायते मलखांबात उपजायते मलखांबात उपजायते मलखांबात उपजायते The origin of Malakam can be traced back to the 12th century. The earliest reference to it is found in Manasun Haas, the ancient scripture. Though neglected in the ensuing period, the art was revived towards the end of the 18th century during the Peshwa regime by Balam Bhatt Dada Deodhar. Modern outlook to Malakam has changed over the years. The original malkham was developed as a preconditioning exercise and maneuver for Indian games such as wrestling. A sparring partner for wrestlers, the malkham measures two and a half meters in height. Its base circumference of 55 centimeters tapers to 45 centimeters at the center and 25 at the top, with a specially designed neck. Warming up exercises loosen up the limbs. As in all sports, these exercises are essential for avoiding damage to muscles due to sudden strains and stresses. Castor oil applied to the malakam avoids friction and provides automatic massage. Malakam offers a very wide spectrum of exercises for the uniform development of the physique. Malakam exercises can be divided into five groups. Mounts, acrobatic skills, balances, catches, and dismounts. Severe strain of the twist 
and negotiate the exercises upside down. These exercises are useful for developing neck muscles, establishing body coordination, agility and control. Various mounts and holes, either from a sitting position, a standing position, or at a run, develop coordination of movements, sense of judgment, self-confidence and courage. The range is very wide. Freehand horse mount, suluki, the forehead mount, the neck mount, horse mount back leg grip. Freehand back leg grip. Turtle grip. Free hand horse mount back leg grip. on body movement on either side, left as well as right. Since only one's own body weight is lifted, the possibility of overstraining the muscles is negligible. The fluid movements develop the trunk and increase the gripping strength. In firki or twisting, the band of muscles is stretched and contracted to its limits at different angles, inducing strength and suppleness. Tabakpar Firki, a particular movement on the Malakam, in which the body moves round itself. The face changes sides, but the hand grip remains unchanged. Wail or creeper, the exercises in which the body undergoes twists and turns with accelerated speed. What is unique is that at any one instant, only the hand muscles or the leg muscles support the entire body weight. The hardness of the mallakam serves to knead the body all round, thus combining a massage and an exercise. Bandar Pakar, or literally the monkey hold, from which in the 18th century Balambhat Dada Deodhar gained the inspiration which revived the Mallakam. Yogic postures done on the Malakam have a vital dimension, achieving perfect concentration even without spatial security. Angasafa, a combination of yogic postures of Pashimottanasana, Shirshasana, Sarvangasana, and Halasana. Needle and thread, a popular variation in Malakam. Legs act as the thread and the arm hold as the eye of the needle. The ladder movement. Hands and legs form an unending chain and support the entire body. <laughs> 